way back in uh, February this year at the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show, we popped along and we saw um, a new company called Collapse, um, having a number of um, items for the outdoors, for camping, caravanning and uh, things like that. So um, they kindly agreed to send us a bunch of items here for us to have a close look at. Um, so let's get stuck in. Okay, so first up are these collapsible utility bags. So I think 16 litre, yep, yeah, 16 litre and 45 litre bags. Um, let's see, dimensions are on the pack. So these we saw and they look very handy general purpose. General purpose carry things, I mean, what's sort of called utility. Let's open that up. Okay, so this utility bag. Could find plenty of uses for this. It's, um, it's completely watertight. So you can actually fill this up with water or just use it to carry carry things in, so there we go, you can see inside there, so that's one, straight out the pack, so carry handles, um, yeah, it's like a big bag, or see crunches down flat, so it's not going to take a lot of space, there's loads of things like that, this, just putting bits and pieces in to carry from your car, to tent, um, bits and pieces when we go canoeing would be useful for, but also these can be just used as big buckets of water. And there's a few other accessories that I've got coming up that can use these. So let's get this big one out, the 35 litre. This one is massive. Okay. That is one huge, huge bag. Um, you put all sorts of things in here. Um, you're going down the beach or anything really um some things you want to keep dry some things you want to keep wet i mean you could even put fresh water in put wet soup things in here and, and stuff like that. so that's a massive bag i mean it's, there's all sorts of things you could use this for obviously it's a bit floppy without anything in it um you fill it up with water that's going to be quite heavy and quite sturdy but um yeah so that's part one and that's the utility bags i shall just put them to one side at this. Now this is similar in concept. It's a general sort of bucket, uh, capsule bucket. Um, some instructions there. But it's a little bit more than uh, a little bit more than just the open utility bags. I like that it comes in a nice little carry case as well. These are always useful for keeping your bits and pieces in. Um, so they're there when you go camping. Okay so first time opening this it's got a little toggle on there. Just to open up. Off. Okay, so very similar. This is a little bit more rugged. Um, so water container here. It's obviously got a hole there. And you've got a little indicator on the side how much water you've got in here. Now this could take off so you can only just use it as a bucket or you can use it with a tap on so it's an ideal little um like a little wall to carry for a tent there we go it's got a tap that goes up now now right in there so you can see nice big opening to fill the thing up um, just slip that on top here. I wonder whether that goes on the top. Okay, twist that up. Now, I should perhaps put some water in to make that a little bit more solid. Um, so that's, that's part one of this. Now, the problem is you get with 
small to carry as easy. You could leave them over the edge of your table. Um, things like that. But this does actually come with an optional stand as well. So this slots together. So I'll read some instructions the first time opening any of this stuff. I'm bound to get a few things wrong. Okay, so now we've got that on a stand. Right, but that's not all that comes with this. And all these little bits can go in there. In there. Right, so there's more accessories with this. And I think you can buy these in kits. You don't have to get all the bits and pieces um, separately. Okay, so this was another another item that came. So this is trunk bit here. So um, again, okay, some more instructions on here. This is designed basically to make this a lot easier for clean up. So sometimes um, if you go to the campsites where you need to fill this thing up um, from the tap, the tap doesn't always have a correct nozzle on the end. It's not always close to where your bucket or where anything you want to fill up, even if you've got a large apple roll in your camping. This, there we go, I'll see on here. But this allows you to reach that tap and fill it up, even if the tap doesn't have a proper connector on there. Handy also if you wanted to fill one of these big bad boys up too. So a handy um, little spout. Um, little trunk they've got on here which folds away there and it's got another little thing over the top here so you could toggle that in place over the tap if you needed to keep that running so that's handy um, another nice, useful little bit of kit complete with its own little bag okay there's more what's in this one okay right so this might be um, really useful especially if you've got a static caravan somewhere or something like this this um, comes with a few more attachments on here that goes onto this bucket um, so a few more things on the rain starts to come down now Some bits and pieces on here. So you've got this to go over here, where the tap is. So you've got this attachment on here, which goes on here. <laughs> Another attachment there. And now you've got a collapsible watering can. But it's not just that as well. You do also have um, this tube here. Um, so let's open that up here, see how long this is. So if you needed to extend what they've already got on here. Uh, just there. And so, that could fit on the end there. <laughs> it's been a bit longer fitting, setting it up really. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll try and take these and use these for various different things and show you on that. Um, but yes, so now you've got a slightly longer thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way round. You can have that back way round if you need to decant um, and flow things forward. I'm just wondering as well whether this will also fit onto here. Yes, it will. So there you go, this could be another useful little addition um, to it so that you fit the tap on there 
and uh, you then got a little extension if you need to. Lots of little bits and pieces. I think it's really trying to work out um, what's going to suit your particular circumstance. You can use these obviously for camping, caravanning, motorhomes, um, all sorts of things. So there's a wide range of, of different accessories and I, as you might have seen from my videos, I love a good, I love a good gadget. Again, it comes in this another cool little carry case, so I'll put those in there. Put those all together. Oh, that's for the bucket. Take that off there. I'll do that. Okay, so that's that attachment there. Right, now that's the bucket, and all I think I'll do is I'll keep the stand in the bag with it. You see, it's starting to rain here, so get a bit wet. So that's a handy little water carrier bucket. You've got a number of different additional attachments you can, you can uh, put on there, take with you. I do like the fact that you might have seen our video with the um, with the Outwell collapsible water facility, water in um, water carrier, uh, which is very good. But the tap does stick out a little on that one. Whereas on this one, you can actually fit the tap neatly here in the lid, which is going to keep it a little bit more protected, like so. And that just twists down, twists down flat, the lid on top. And then the collapsible stand as well. So, when the campsites are open, we have to take some of this gear and use it in angle, test it out. So, that's not quite done. Um, now, something really relevant at the moment, if campsites are opening without the camping uh, facilities being open, is this. You see, it comes in a little bag, just unzip it, and inside, you've got a shower. Now, I've not set this up yet. Um, obviously, a bit of well setting up, but you can use that alongside one of these big utility buckets. You put that utility bucket there, um, and it's got, especially a USB chargeable shower. So I'll set this up and do a separate video on it. But it's a USB chargeable shower. It's got a little suction cap to hold the end of the shower on. You've got a pump. Uh, one of the ends that goes into, I think it's a shower head there. Um, so I'll get this out and do a separate video on this. Um, yeah, so it's USB chargeable. You've got the pump end sitting down in the bucket, and then you've got the hose that comes up, uh, looks like attaches onto here. You've got the rose of the shower head there. Um, so you've now got an outdoor shower. For us, not just useful for people, um, useful as well just if you want to spray down your bikes but also if you've got a muddy, muddy dog and dog does tend to like getting into muddy puddles so a useful little thing to help spray down your dog um, if you are camping I know our um, toilet tent that we used to have had a fitment for shower as well so you can run this with this outside obviously the water's going to be cold unless you find some way of warming it up um, but a handy little thing and certainly I think it's got a few different attachments just looking at this I think I think I need to do a separate more detailed video so it's got like a, a, a nozzle on this one there we go so you've got a bit of a, a nozzle with a, um, a spray nozzle on this one here with a little trigger on there so that that that'd be ideal for uh, washing down your dog or washing down a bike or anything else you've got muddy again you fill up this huge huge um one of these huge utility buckets it doesn't even have to be the big one it could be the smaller one here with water um, and then with something like this which is just usb chargeable so you can charge it from your car or solar panels or whatever um, or a power bank so you can be completely off grid and then you've got some way of having a either yourself having a shower or cleaning things down i thought that looked fairly interesting i'm gonna charge this up i say do a separate video on this um, it's a bit more of a, a setup on this. It's just a quick, quick look at some of the stuff first off. Um, nice little, nice little case that it comes in too. Oh, that's quite like that. All looks very good quality. Uh, nice so, 
Now, not quite done. One last little thing before the heavens completely open. Um, more things for the dog. So we're going to use that for the dog as well. These other items are ideal for the dog. Now, these aren't necessarily just for dogs. You could use them for anything as well. They're all um, food grade uh, plastics, so they're not necessarily animal items, but for us, this is ideal. So this is a two-in-one uh, water and food bottle. So you can use it either with water or food. Um, and we saw this and it, it, it <laughs> When we first saw this, it was like perfect. I can get in the box. It's perfect for um, our dog. So one of the things you might know, if you're taking your dog out for a walk, you take some water, but you've got to take some sort of bowl with them. And although there's a few uh, dog water carriers around where they can drink from the lids, they do tend to be quite small. This here, all oh, right, it's your key ring with it. Um, this here looked, looked really quite smart. Um, so you open this up, um, so you water inside, but this big leaf on the side here, you basically, oops, basically turn it out like that, fit on there. And now you can pour the water into this leaf here for your dog to drink out of. Or it could be food, it could be you know, dog treats or whatever, and then you've got an instant bowl on the wall. But for us, certainly, um, having some water in there and a means of some lip, 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 uh, drinking the water up would be, would be ideal. So that's that one. Um, the other one is another handy little thing. This one here is a twin portable bowl set. So if we have a collapsible bowl, we take camping for our dog and we the caravan, but this is just, this is just perfect. And again, it doesn't have to be the dogs, you could use this anyway, if you just want an extra bowl, you want to take camping. Um, nice, again, really nice, good quality case on this one, I really like this. So we open this up, and inside, two little pop-up bowls like so. So either snacks for kids or probably in our case dog food, dog water. Um, it's two bowls in one, it's not going to take up a lot of space um, so that's perfect for us to take camping or in the caravaning or even on a day out back of the car something like that. That's perfect just fold it down flat and zip it back up. So that's a really quick look at um, some of this collapsed gear. I'm really quite impressed with it, but uh, I'm clearly going to need to do a follow-up video. I'm going to need to get inside as well because it's really started to rain. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, so hopefully the weather will improve and uh, things will move up soon. But uh, yeah, a um, couple of really good little items on on on, on here from collapse. So. Uh, Hopefully that's been of interest to you and uh, speak to you soon. Cheers.